It's no Miami super yacht, but with a little love from Kim Kardashian and two, Saturday Night Live, hilarious, the Staten Island Ferry is now considered sexy. Ever since comics Pete Davidson and Colin Jost bought one of the retired orange ships on January 19 with plans to convert it into a new one, fashion photographers and Hollywood filmmakers have swarmed out to secure city permits to get on active, city-operated Staten Island ferries to turn York's hottest comedy club. Trish Neve, a Manhattan-based photo agent, said she noticed the surge in interest, particularly from her overseas clients, after Staten Islander natives Davidson and Jost made their purchase and Kardashian, Davidson's girlfriend, started doing it to drive. Whatever Kim Kardashian does seems to set the world on fire, Neve said. I've been having a lot of conversations with clients lately about shooting in New York and suddenly they want to shoot on the ferry. I think the Staten Island ferry is sexy again, or sexy for the first time. Kardashian gushed last month about her love for the so-called forgotten part of town and the boat. We take the ferry everywhere, she told ABC's Live with Kelly and Ryan in April. Mid-May this year, the city's Department of Transportation approved 17 permit applications from photographers and videographers to film aboard the 310-foot iron and steel Goliaths, and it's on track to reach 38 by the end of the year, records show. That would exceed the number of 34 in the previous year. Neve said the 17 permits are probably just the tip of the iceberg, as most outdoor shoots don't happen until the summer. Linda Gummis Gerritsen, fashion director of Vogue Netherlands, called the Staten Island Ferry a popular New York icon, on a par with Lady Liberty and the Brooklyn Bridge. She said its sudden star power makes it even more appealing to companies looking to promote their product. The combination of being on a boat with a view of the Statue of Liberty and the Manhattan skyline, combined with his celebrity status and the fact that wanting to open a club there makes it really magical, said Gerritsen, who plans to secure access to the ferry for future Vogue ads. Among the companies already beginning to capitalize on the ferry's growing popularity is Dutch women's wear line costs. Last week, Neve oversaw a costs photoshoot with a female model who posed on the ferry as it steamed away from Manhattan. Vincent Barone, spokesman for the city of DOT, which operates the ferry, boasted about the ship's movie potential, which is obvious. The Staten Island Ferry transports thousands of New Yorkers and visitors daily and offers beautiful views of the Manhattan skyline and the Statue of Liberty, said Barone. Point one boat Hollywood won't be using is the John F. Kennedy, purchased by Davidson and Jost, which is docked at a Staten Island shipyard to undergo renovations.